Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And that's dreams with three Zs at the end. Okay, today's episode is really serious, and we're dealing with people how they feel from the inside. And I told you, I'm not like every content creator. Sometimes you're going to see the things you might not want to talk about what you want to talk about. Okay, today's episode is I Hate My Kids. So I want you guys to settle in, get relaxed, pay attention, and listen to everybody's different opinions on how their kids treat them and how they feel about their kids. Let's get it. Out of all the kids, I get the dumb ones. I hate my kids. I hate them. My daughter got up the other morning. She went to cook me breakfast. It was cute. She cracked the egg. I heard eggs cracking. I heard refrigerator doors closing. She brought me a bowl with the shells. Just the shells, the eggshells, a bowl full of eggshells. <laughs> I said, what happened to the eggs? She said, oh, my son, he calls me last night excited. Daddy, daddy, I finally did it. Said, what happened, son? Got this girl, got in the room. He told me he put the condom over his balls first. It's genius. Okay. Okay, y'all, I don't like my daughter. I don't like her. She really get on my nerves, like, really, really bad. So I'm gonna tell you what she did today. So today, I'm at work. She calling me, calling me, calling me, calling me, calling me. Y'all, I cannot be on my phone from 11, on my phone from 11 to 1.30. But she's calling me. But as a mom, I'm thinking something's going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's my youngest daughter. And she lives, she doesn't live with me. She lives far away, you know? At least an hour away. That's far to me. Well, anyway, so y'all, she come calling me, calling me, and I'm asking her, you know, asking if I'm like, what? You know, why are you calling me? You know what I'm saying? I can't yell it out, but I'm saying it to her. You know what I'm saying? And she studies, I'm like, it's all over the news, it's all over the news. Like, fucking what? You know what I'm saying? By this time, my heart done sank, you know what I'm saying, into my damn pooke. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what that is, my cat, you know? Heart just gone, you know what I'm saying? And so I go into the bathroom, I'm trying to see what it is. She's like, it's all over the news, it's all over the news. I'm like, what's all over the news? She says, the STD rate has risen so high in Houston. They said if you even look at a man, you got chlamydia. Piss me off. She literally blew up my phone, y'all, like five, six times. And that's what she says. Meanwhile, why do she even give a fuck? Hmm. She a virgin. Shout out to her. But why do you care? Now, that's why I say I do not like my daughter. Period. Point blank. I love her though. She's just a little too mo too emotional. <laughs> I freaking love her. Her sense of humor. And another thing too, kids, they get involved in social media and some of the stuff that they see on there sticks to them and they start taking it in. Be very careful of that too. Get her. Am I the asshole for sometimes hating my children? I mean, obviously I love them, but sometimes I want to drive off a bridge just for silence or <laughs> even throw them out a window. This is the most relatable yes. thing a mother can possibly say. Little kids are assholes. There are times when your kids will make you crazy and you hate them as much as you love them all in the same moment. You, if you don't say, my kid's driving me crazy, my kid's an asshole, I think you kind of go crazy. When I feel like I was a good mom and did everything I can to show my kids I loved them and be there for them, and why does this generation of kids just turn their back on their parents? Like, I would never treat my parents the way some of the things have been said to me um, from my kids, and I don't understand it, and it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere it's a different generation social media everything is just friends patients that i see at work 
you know, story after story after story after, you know, my daughter doesn't talk to me, my son doesn't talk to me, like, just so much entitlement these days, and it's just so flippin' heartbreaking. Like, it was so much easier when the kids were little. Like, I just didn't think that my life would be where it's at at 50. I love my kids, but why is it this hard? Why, where's the respect at for parents and appreciation for all they've done for you your entire life? Like, I have three adult children and two aren't talking to me. And do I give a damn? Of course I care, but I'm not going to feed into their bullshit. This creator asked the question why. And then another creator stitched her video and it was like, okay, well, I did this and I'm one of those kids and I walked away. Well, um, for my parents because they had trauma. Well, I, I, I look at it this way. I... They are basically saying that during our lifetime, that when their life overlapped with ours, that we should have provided them with, with a trauma-free, wonderful, perfect life. And I look at my mother, I have grace and, and, and empathy uh, because she came up in a time where just certain things weren't available. I know that during my childhood, she battled depression. And these kids that look at our life and look at our timeline, who expect our timelines to be trauma-free so they can be individuals, they're not dealing in reality. They're not dealing with real adulthood because real adulthood is being able to look at somebody else and have grace and empathy. Let's talk about this generation of children who are turning against their parents, their mothers, their fathers even. It seems to be all the rage to go on TikTok, that is the youth today, who are creating videos disrespecting their mother, their father. Mostly I'm seeing a lot of mothers under attack by their own children. As a mother, we have fed you, we have clothed you. And before I continue down this list, this is where the self-entitlement and disrespect comes in from the youth. But we Things are just different, it's so real. We didn't ask you to do those things. We didn't ask to be here, but you sure are loving the ride. You're sure enjoying the blessings of being here. You got your TikTok, you got your little buddies, right? Truth be told, it is a woman's right to not go to term with a child in her womb. Any mother who has never abandoned their child, who has carried them to full term, that means they didn't abandon them in the womb and they didn't abandon them outside the womb. Clearly wants their child here. She has her middle finger up to her mother trying to get some sleep. She looked crazy. That's all I got to say. She crazy. You want to hear the saddest thing about motherhood I've ever heard and witnessed in my life? Oh, God. My sister, who is Mormon, one time I go to her house and she really wants to show me this TV show. The kids go down for a nap and she's like, oh, I want to show you. She pulls it up on the TV and then her daughter comes in the room because she didn't want to nap, is throwing a hissy fit. And she's like, I want to watch Moana. I want to watch Moana. And she sits next to my sister. And so my sister has to put on Moana. And my sister just silently cries. Like just tears are falling down her face. And I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, I just can never have a moment to myself. Oh, oh my oh. God. That is so sad to me. Where's your husband? <laughs> At work. Extremely painful to love a child that does not love you back, especially after you've been really good to them. Mom, what I want you to understand is that there's an evil spirit behind that. Satan is working hard to bring division within the families and when it's do y'all believe kids could be born into like karma out of karma Kyle approaches the teenage years he works extremely hard to usher in a spirit of rebellion and once he's successful at I don't think so that it just opens up the door to so many other spirits it is not you. If you have tried your very best to be a very loving parent, 
know that that is the spirit of Satan and you have to fight that in the spirit with the word of God and prayer. Grown ass kids, you know, reading over messages and I realized there's nothing we could have did to change the way they think about their childhood. There's not a thing we could have did different to change the opinion that they have of us when they was kids. I don't owe them nothing now that they are grown. So here is my thing. What are you doing with your life to change what you think and what you say happened in your childhood? If you haven't changed anything in your life and you still have a life in fact Crazy sex doesn't lead to crazy kids. Crazy parents. Hmm. On everybody for your bad decisions, then that's your fault. I don't owe you shit. You don't owe me nothing. And that's the way I think of life now. These grown ass kids do not waste your time thinking that they're gonna change because their mind is already poisoned by the things they put in their own mind. No one put these things in their mind but them. So it's up to them to change them. My husband like when middle blogs in them. My husband, they understand, sir. My adult picking them give me a problem. Sweet light, me do one blog, so I can get this little light. I work out, we're going to work out, you know, we're going to go to the gym. But I have to just stop for do one little blog. Seriously, though, one of your, your people, adult children, Pissing my brain like how my adult children and piss my brain. Me just feel to say my adult children, me, well, just say children, cause they're my adult. Me just feel to say my children them hate me. And the things them where them say and the things them where them do. And the things them where they do with themselves and the things them where they want to do. Me just feel to say them I work me up, I say enough things to depress me. So that's me just pass out quick. You ever feel that way there? What stage you rather your children? You rather them when they were small or you rather them when they are big? Because obviously I don't like my three adult children, you know. The more I think about them picking them, the more I realize that I don't like them. I don't like them at all. I don't like me picking them. them. Them affect my head. I like my mother. My mother just have me. And my mother just give me away like a dog. And my mother don't even care if I live in or me dead. I rather that. And that me should have do. I should have abandon my picnic them. I should have just walk with the tree of them like three little dogs and just go and left them. So you see now, more need of your stress. They're my adult and every day I get up me more stress. I don't like them picnic there at all. I hope you're having better luck with your children them than mine because I don't like mine them. I'm not quite sure who else is like me, but I personally feel like one of the scariest parts about being a parent, especially to adult children, is having to sit back and let them learn on their own. Especially if you've already been through it, you've already tried to tell them, but they think they know so much better. It's at that point you're just gonna have to let Jesus take the wheel, hold on tight, and hope for the best. This one's a uh, true off my chest. I hate my autistic child, and I'm going to divorce my husband because of it. I just need to scream into a void, any void. I have three children with John. He is the love of my life. Life was perfect before Jill was born. Jill is extremely autistic. She's textbook, screaming, meltdowns, aggression. We lost everything as a family the moment we realized she isn't going to improve. She's beyond expensive. I had to quit my job when she was four to care for her. My other children live in fear of their sister. She hits, breaks things, screams, tears things apart, spits. No medication has worked. No counseling, no therapy, nothing has worked. My husband and I have had a dead bedroom ever since I quit my job, pretty much, and it was winding down severely before then. I just can't do this anymore. A few days ago, I begged my husband to take the day off work so I could clear my head. I felt myself slipping into my own mental breakdown. He told me, no, as money was too tight and we can't afford it. While it's true we can't afford it, no one else is willing to take care of Jill. I couldn't stick her on the only people that would, which are my parents. 
they are far too old to deal with a child hitting them with their full force. Jill got into a fight with one of her older siblings and I just lost my shit. She hurt her sibling so badly and I just lost it. Their other sibling has had to help rip her off and call their father to come home. I screamed at their father that it's over. I hated Jill, I hate him, and we're getting divorced. I said many hurtful things, but nothing about my other two children. I drove over four hours with my two kids to my sister's place. I had to get away. My husband has been blowing up my phone. I just can't do it anymore. I miss being a good mom. I miss my job. I miss being able to go to the zoo with my kids. I miss being able to go to the school events. I miss eating as a family. I miss restaurants, friends, holidays. I miss having money. I miss life from before Jill. I miss my two kids. I miss my husband. I just needed to vent. I know my shitty mom. I know I'm not a good person. I know I deserve it. I just needed to vent somewhere. I don't want to face reality. I just want to wake up from this nightmare. Look, what I can say is having kids, it's not the easiest thing. But having love for your kids and having love for yourself and valuing yourself enough to know that you as a person and your kids as a person are two separate and you share that love is something special. Stay close to your family, love the people that's near you and the people that loves you and God will bless you. Sometimes it can get rough, sometimes it can get easy and just everything's going your way. But the times when it's not going your way, it's what you do in those times that really shows who you are. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know to do this channel.